I just tried the AWS Bedrock, and uh, also AWS has the AWS has the uh, SageMaker. Basically, these two are pretty similar, and I'm just curious: is there any overlap or any differences? So I just uh, search around, and I found two notebooks, which is more of an introductory about the difference. We can just try it out. The first one is that uh, Meta Llama notebook example. Uh, I can show you that uh, this one is just a demoing how to expose a SageMaker endpoint so you can query and make some inference requests. Uh, we can go through this SageMaker notebook first, and then we can go to the Bedrock one later. So for the SageMaker, some uh, preparations, module updates, and some row and buckets definition. Uh, these are just preparations. I think the key piece is here that for the SageMaker, you need a model artifact. The structure is like this, the code, and you have this key configuration file, serving dot properties. Uh, this notebook, that notebook has the uh, definition explained. Uh, I will sh share the link later in this uh, uh, YouTube video description. So basically, what it's doing is it's making directory of. Let me just do it. Okay, so this is the home directory, and it's making this uh, folder. You see here, it's this code llama 7b, this one. It will just uh, write these properties to this folder. Uh, so this is the key command, it's ge generating this uh, configuration file, serving the properties. And uh, you can see, I think the key is here. The model ID, this is actually the path to this S3 bucket. And you see it's SageMaker example files, production. I'm on the US West too, so I just give the US West to as the region. And uh, and you can see that actually, I think this one is a public available S3 bucket that's public to the world, whole world. I just test it out, we can try it again here, you see. Uh, we if we can list it, we have access to this model, right? the same uh, same path here. So I'm just a general user. I can, I can get all the contents, basically, which means you can download it to, to your local S3 or your local machine anywhere you want. So this is the key part. And basically, I think you can use it. Maybe you can try any other models you want. Let's try to see, okay, it has only the pre-trained, only Llama 2. If we try more, yeah, you can see that I list the models directory, and it, it has all these pre-trained models you can try and just uh, plug it into the notebook here. I think the path is defined here. So, yeah, you can just plug in whatever models the pre-trained models you want, and uh, play around with it. This is the, the full list. You can just dig into each of the directories to find which model you want, and you love the most. Yeah, so then you can just have the inference image model, uh, the UR, URI. This framework is DG, DGL, Deep Learning Library. The version is this one. Again, you can plug in any ver version you want. I think I did some exploration. Uh, I think it's here. If you go to the uh, deep Java library, the DGL, it has different versions. I think the most ver uh, recent one is this uh, 31.1. And uh, then you can try the 30, the 28. Yeah, any version you want. Uh, from history, just change the version here, it will work. And then the last thing is that you can just expose the uh, 
the endpoint. Basically, now you can see that it's creating this model. It will take a while, and, and it will take the it will create this endpoint that will be available for any client refer uh, inferences and uh, take all the requests. And uh, amazingly, I think I waited for like ten minutes or so. The endpoint is ready, and uh, I, I tr even tried to use like a Chinese character. It's also good. It's basically generating the English first, like uh, I'm a newbie in this forum stuff, and it will translate that English into Chinese characters. That's the Unicode. Uh, yeah, so this is pretty much the SageMaker side of things, how you make a inference to the endpoint. And then we can switch to the bedrock. This is another one, interesting. We can just go over this notebook. And also, let me switch to the directory. Again, I will share this link to this um, work workshop later in the description. So this is, is basically the prerequisites, which has the basics, which I'm in interested to know the difference of the endpoint. So again, this is just uh, some preparations and client setup. Let's uh, scroll to the key part. One is the invo invoke model. Basically, different models will have a slightly different request response schema, but more or less the same. So you can, you can see it's Amazon, Titan, and it's cloud. But mostly they are the, very similar, take the similar parameters like uh, the, the p-value, top key, top p stuff. Uh, here's example and explanations, what it is. You can have a later reading. Uh, I want to scroll to the key part, which is the how to make the query or the request or inference to the endpoint. So this is the key part. You want a bedrock client, and then prepare the prompt data. After that, you can just directly make the request. You see, this is the client, right? You call the invoke model API. You plug in the body, which has the uh, prompt data and the model ID. And it will, you will see the results. Basically, you just parse the response, get the body, and get the results, and parse the output. So, uh, and I think the interesting thing I'm also curious is that where is this request sending to? Because it's just directly ca calling the client and invoke. And I think it's calling the the uh, bedrock endpoint directly. I think it's somehow somewhere defined. Them. Okay, it's here. So if you go to the bedrock uh, documentation, you can see there fixed endpoints for different regions. I think for this bedrock red runtime client, when it's calling this one, it will directly by default calling the default endpoint in its own region. For example, this one's for different regions. So this is how the uh, invoke or query or request is being sent out. So the response is uh, returned. So if we compare this two, the SageMaker, it's invoking endpoint. It's giving the endpoint name and all the DOM body, right? But in the uh, bedrock, I think it's uh, have a nicer wrapper of the client. You can directly just call invoke model and get a response. But they are, I think they are more, more or less the same. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Pretty similar, but uh, bedrocker, bedrock is like better wrapper. That's the conclusion. Okay, I think that's it. A quick video about this. Let's chat later.